Welcome to my new adventure, You Gotta Believe, with inspirational stories and poetry. Hope you enjoy. The Black Spot One day a professor entered the classroom and asked his students to prepare for a surprise test. The students waited anxiously at their desks for the test to begin. The professor handed out the question paper with the text page facing down as usual he does. Once he handed them all the question paper out, he asked his students to turn the page and begin reading, to everyone's surprise, there were no question just a black dot in the center of the page. The professor saw the expression on everyone's face and told them the following. I want you to write what you see on that question paper. The students confused. Anyhow the students got started on the confusing and inexplicable task. At the end of the test, the professor took all the answer papers and started reading each of them aloud in front of the whole class. All of them with no exceptions described the black dot they had tried to explain the position of the spot in the middle of the sheet etc. After all paper had been read, the professor began to explain that. I am not going to grade on you this. It was not a part of your exam. I just wanted to give you something to think about. No one wrote about the white part of the paper. Everyone focused on the black dot. And the same happens in our lives. We have a white paper to observe and enjoy, but we always focus on the dark spots. Our life is a gift given to us by God, with love and care, and we always have reasons to celebrate, nature renewing itself every day, our friends around us, the job that provides our livelihood, the miracles we see every day. However we insist on focusing only on the dark spots, the health issues that bother us, the lack of money, the complicated relationship with a family member, the disappointment with a friend etc. The dark spots are very small compared to everything we have in our lives, but they are the ones that pollute our minds. Take your eyes away from the black spots in your life. Enjoy each one of your blessings, each moment that life gives you. The moral of the story is, as the professor explained, life is a bag of good and bad things. We all have positives and negatives along the way. But we must always concentrate greater on the positives for a healthy and happy life. Life goes on no matter what, so do not waste your time thinking about the negatives. Thank you everyone. See you next episode.